This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. Why do snakes have two penises? That's right, you guys may not even know it, but snakes and a lot of lizards actually have two penises. That's right. So this week's show, I figured let's learn together and let's talk about snakes junk. Let's get this party started. Let's start by saying that the two penises of snakes and lizards are actually called hemipenes. Individually, they're called hemipenises, and each one of those hemipenises are attached to an individual testy. In most cases, the hemipenes are stored in the base of the male, which is really normally why the tail on a male snake is longer and thicker in order to house the hemipenes in. In general, a snake's hemipene has a groove in it called the sulcus spermatic, which the sperm runs down. This is more like a canal than a pipe, but during the breeding season, the female's reproductive organs actually form the other part of the tube, much like we have in mammals. Hemipenises often have various spines, knobs, branches, and other projections which typically correspond with the cloaca anatomy of the female snake of the same species. But why two? I wish I had two dicks. Let's take a quick look at the timeline of snake reproductive. The boy and the girl meet up, and after a little berry white, they decide to take their relationship to the next level. That's when they intertwine their tails. The boy then inserts his hemipenis into his new girlfriend's cloaca. <laughs> I know, as romantic as it sounds, believe it or not, the female snake has a lot of control over whether she gets pregnant with her new boyfriend's sperm. If conditions aren't good enough for them to ovulate or gestate, they can actually hold on to sperm for a long time, in some cases, many years. They can store their sperm in specialized pockets and believe it or not, can have sperm from several different males. And here's the tricky part. They actually choose which sperm they wanna use to father their clutches. So if there's an inferior male, they'll actually choose the dominant male sperm so that their offspring are very strong and will live a long time. I don't know about you guys, but I feel pretty bad for that inferior male, but females have complete control over which sperm fathers their clutch. Ultimately, the amount of sperm that a male can deliver to as many females as possible increases his chances of fathering offspring, which is probably the main reason for having two hemipenises. Because the hemipenis is attached to only one testy, it gives the male snake the best chance to deliver a successful batch of sperm. <laughs> and he'll only use the other hemipenis if there's a mating opportunity that happens directly after the first mating. In mammals that have two testi, when they deliver sperm, the two testes actually mix into one delivery system. But in snakes, each hemipenis has an individual testy. Calm down, there's no reason to get testy. <laughs> which means that the second breeding has as high of a sperm count as the first breeding, unlike in mammals. Ironically enough, most snakes prefer to use their right hemipenis and will only use their left hemipenis when the right one is depleted of sperm. Another possible reason for two hemipenises is that a male can produce a gelatinous mating plug that for a time can bar another male from entering into a female and delivering his sperm. This plug takes material, which has to be manufactured, which takes time and energy. So with two hemipenises, one can be mating while the other one is manufacturing the new gel. It's possible that by using two penises, it's a better chance of keeping its competition at bay rather than having one penis. In each species of snakes, the hemipenises are very specific, and the matching females of that species have regions in the cloaca that are very specific to matching those hemipenises, which basically keeps other species away from breeding them. That's why in some cases, it's difficult to hybridize species because the mating parts don't match up. So in a nutshell, <laughs> We've learned that male snakes are mainly right-handed, but they will use their left hemipene if a mating opportunity comes up directly after mating with the right side. They can manufacture a plug which will ensure another male will not breed the female that they just bred, and they have some pretty gnarly looking junk. In the end, snake reproduction is all about advancing their genetic bloodline. 
I hope you guys have learned a little bit about snake sex organs today, because let's face it, you never know when you're going to need such valuable information. And as always, I'm Facebooking and tweeting my way through things, guys, so make sure to follow me over at SnakeBitesTV or on Instagram at SnakeBitesTV and now on Snapchat at SnakeBitesTV. Until next week, you've been watching Snake Bites.